Hello YouTubers, welcome to vlog number 69. We are very excited today, or I am very excited, you can be whoever you like. I'm very excited today. One, it's a Monday, that means bringing it back, Suit Mondays, that's why I've got my shirt on, got my trousers on here. Oh yeah, Suit Monday, look good, feel good, roll good. You can insert any other sport or activity in the last one. Anyway, other reason I'm feeling excited today is I get to start the program that I've been given by the coaches and we'll discuss that throughout the day. First session is just 45 minutes on the erg, then second one is a sort of trunk session and we'll get to the next session because I'm not really 100% sure what it is yet, but we'll get there. Awesome start to the week because I just woke up. Yes. Okay. Gonna. I've got. I've got. Oh no! I've not even got my smoothie. I've already got it. Do not fear. Don't know where to put it. It's over there. I had a strawberry and banana, honey yogurt. I've added some protein powder for extra protein. Cause I'm gonna get big. I also just tried my suit trousers on, and uh, they're a lot bigger than they were when I last tried them on. Hmm. Anyway, gonna grab my smoothie or drink my smoothie, gonna get some food, going down to the club to do the 45 minutes on the air and the rest of the sessions for the day. Oh yeah, here we go boys, getting back to fitness, yeah, wowee. Okay, to the club. And we're off to the club with my suit on, oh yeah, here we go. And we've made it to the club. It's so windy. Oh my god. Gonna get changed and hop right in Erg. Let's get to it. And welcome back to Erg Thoughts number two. I'm not saying that this is gonna happen the whole time, but I think I had a good response last time, and there's a few questions about drag factor. So I think I'm gonna take just a little chat about drag factor. So as you see me stretching here what I'm thinking in relation to drag factor. So you can see, I go for the monitor. I don't necessarily go for the drag factor. I can see for me, it's between sort of four and six, usually sitting around five. And since I've been on the road machine quite often, I can feel what the drag factor for me is. So I did look at the machine after this session and it said 135 and a little dab there, of course. So it did say 135 for the drag factor and it can vary machine to machine, but it can also, if you're going number wise, so one and one machine could be 100, one and another machine could be 110. Same goes for the number 10 on the machine. Could be many different things. So I wouldn't really trust the number. You can go into the menu, go to display drag factor and get your number so it's consistent across all machines that you use. Uh, drag factor that I use, so if this is a steady state session, just 45 minutes on the erg, so I'm going to go around 135, maybe a little lighter, maybe a little heavier, just depending on, on how I'm feeling. But the official drag factor for trials, doing 2K at trials, is 138. So you should get used to rowing at 138 if you're in a GB system, but that's all over the place. Could depend on where you are from around the world. It could be less, could be more. If your lightweight is less, if you're uh, doing some max watts, you probably want to put it a bit higher. So if I'm looking to get um, above a thousand watts for a, a few strokes, then I'm looking at a higher drag factor. If I'm trying to really focus on technique, I'm probably going to have a lower drag factor. But really, that's all I think about drag factor. It's just quite a simple thing. I don't put it up so, okay, this is a hard session, I'm going to put it high. This is an easy session, I'm going to put it low. I try and keep it as consistent as possible. Because really, if you think about it, if I'm doing miles and miles and miles on the rowing machine at any drag factor, so say 130 drag factor, and then I go the next day as a test and I test at, I don't know, 140, both are going to feel very different. And you don't really want to introduce that variance. You want to get so used to that drag factor that you're feeling that when it comes to test time, you're ready, you know exactly what to expect. 
And I think that's what I really try and go for when I'm on the rowing machine. You really just get into a groove of things that we're doing right here. All of us in a line, all the same rate, all the same sort of, maybe not the same split, but we're all going, having a little chat with the guy next to me there. But it's all good, all having fun. Just a little bit of drag factor thought there. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below if you agree or even disagree or what you use as your drag factor. It'd be really good to hear everyone's opinions on that matter. But that'll be the end of Erg Thoughts for today. See you after I'm done erging. And that's us finished the 45 minute ergo. Wonderful split, so I'm going to stick to 52.5, 52.4, heart rate around 155 for the next week, so I can have a consistent base of fitness, something to work off of for next week, so I can step down the splits. I've also got approximately two weight sessions a day and another cardio session. So approximately four sessions a day, so I need to fuel up, and it's time for lunch with the boys. And also Tim is here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, food time. And we've finished the lunch. Our nice pork. Was it pork? It was meat, rice, and some vegetables. Great recovery for the next session. Now I'll only have to wait on indiscriminate amount of time? An indiscriminate amount of time? No. Undetermined. Undetermined amount of time before the next session. Got a quick call regarding sensors. Still no idea what that means. And then we'll get into some weights and a little bit of cardio. Let's get into the gym. <laughs> and classic, we're in the gym. Fraser Christie is back on the air. He does get on the water sometimes, I swear. But I'm gonna be doing a little bit of biking over here and some weights over there. Let's get to it. has started his ergo, now it's time for me to get sweaty on the bike. Let's get to it. watts, 25 minutes, clean the machine, very sweaty, let me get on to some weights, let's go.
Hello. So, just had my conditioning, my weight circuit, or weights in general. I talked about DOMS last week, and now I think they have reached a new level. My hamstrings are gone, and my upper body has also disappeared. So, I'm going to have a little bit of quick refueling, some macro, some milk. I'm going to go home and have a meal. But I think that will be the end of the vlog for today. Really excited to be back doing a program, structure program, program rather than me just kind of going through doing an hour, doing this. So I've got a, a set program and getting my targets. Going to meet with Jurgen this week to discuss future targets, what I'm going to aim for. Hopefully, I'll let you guys into that as well. Let me know in the comments below if you have targets for this summer. Maybe it's Henley, maybe it's some national competition, maybe it's a school competition. Let me know in the comments below. Have a good one.